I got a surprise for you today. I think you're really going to like this one. A while back, I realized I'm talking to growers all over the place, and I'm always getting these little tips and these little tricks that growers do. I said, man, I'm going to put a video together of these things. Here we go. I want to give you guys a little tip about your feed bins that may help you avoid a, a real catastrophe. If you guys have ever seen when one of these boots breaks loose, it can be a huge problem. One kind of like this. To help prevent a huge mess, it's a pretty simple trick that all you have to do is place one of these jacks. This is an RV jack that you can buy at Camping World or any place that sells RVs supplies. These are like $10 a piece. They're aircraft grade aluminum. You slide it underneath there and crank it up to where it's got just a slight amount of tension on it. That jack can save you from having to deal with thousands of pounds of feed piled up when one of these boots breaks loose. That's a tip worth $10 to me. Here's another tip. Got a grower who's been using this stick for 15 or more years. So anyway, pretty cool. Setting the drinker lines, but he's got it adjustable. So made this little stick. I'm guessing it's a broom handle, but you got an L bracket with basically a hose clamp on here. And depending on the size of the bird and where it needs to be, just slide it up and down, loosen it, do that. Got a little plate on the bottom that helps him from not marking up the litter too. So anyway, setting your drinkers and i see a lot of people talking about how you get your drinkers right but going down the line just setting it like that right there but that's kind of a makeshift little home remedy here and a lot of longevity 15 years okay i have a quick tip for you guys if you happen to have a drain on your farm that you want to drain winterizing if you're cool cells or like me you have an opportunity with a small drain plug on the side. I have come up with a method to drain my cool cells using a simple plumbing plug that I don't have to keep tools on hand. I just pull that plug out and the water starts coming out, push it back in, tighten it up. No tools involved, super simple, very easy method of draining my cool cell tanks. got another little hack for you. Maybe your integrator's on you by keeping your control room locked, maybe not. Either way, it's a nice little way to monitor who's going in and out your door. And if you're like most people, it's hard to keep those workers around. And there's no sense in changing your doorknobs just because a guy left with your keys. So you can get on Amazon now and buy these for anywhere from $30, $40 maybe. And basically just put in a code. Got it right there, hit that. Open it while it's beeping, and there you go. Nice little way to not have to deal with a key. Just give a code out, and if somebody moves, who knows it, change the code. Hope that helps. I hope those were a help. I, I loved some of those, because it's like it's crazy how creative people can be. But I want to ask you to send me your little tips. Take a video, shoot it to me. We don't have to tell who the video's from because some of you I know want your privacy. And I get it. And I can appreciate it. But I'd love to have it because if something can help another grower, that's what we're in this for to help each other. So if there's anything I can do to help you, give me a holler at 1 800 608 3755 or email me, Alan at southlandorganics.com.